it's time to plant the cucurbits, which are our cantaloupes and our winter squashes and our watermelons. So as you can see here, I'm going right into these big three cubic foot potting soil bags. First step you're gonna wanna do, break it all up a little bit, best you can. Just a little bit, because we're gonna go in further and do it. If you have a dark side, you want that to be the bottom. This bag's all white, so we'll just pretend this is the dark side. You flip it over, take any device, and you're just going to want to punch a bunch of drain holes in the bag. When you're making your holes, I like to make a circle with this knife. You can use a saw. You want a rough cut. You don't want like a razor blade cut because if it's very thin, it can get clogged and wouldn't function as a drain hole. So keep that in mind. Now that I got my holes, flip my bag over, smooth it out, and I'm going to cut a hole. I'm going to cut an X in the middle. Now I have my X. Watermelons, cantaloupes, winter squashes, growing them in bags is a stretch to begin with. I'm going to be honest with you, I've never done it before. And why I say that is because they're going to be heavy fertilizers. So I'm going to put some Osmocote in there. It's just a gradual, slow time release fertilizer granule mix. So I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to sprinkle it in on the surface as evenly as I can. You can move, use your hand and mix it up. You don't want pockets of this because that's how you can get burned. So now that I mixed it, take these two bad Larry's and I'm just going in there. I'm just going to mix up all the soil. This helps me break up the clumps, but it also helps me spread that Osmoco evenly throughout. So as the roots grow, they're always going to have some fertilizer to grab onto. And you may have to liquid feed later when the plant's huge, which I plan on doing. This will give me a nice base to start with. Got my Osmocote all mixed in, got my arms nice and dirty, so I know I'm good. I'm gonna be doing a sugar pumpkin from Harris. So as you can see, I have my individual plants that I seeded in cells. And when you're planting things like cantaloupe, winter squashes, we like to do groups of three, cucumbers, depending on how you're growing and if you're just letting them vine out. We like to do groups of three. So I'm gonna pop out three, three plants that look the healthiest and closest in size. Set those aside. So now I have my three plants and I'm just gonna a little circle. They can go right next to each other. Some places when you buy the plants, they're already seeded three into a little pot and you're just planting that pot. So they don't have to be spaced far apart. So I got my three plants in. I'm just gonna tuck the edges under. I'm gonna give them a good drink. Probably fertilize them once a week. Now until those roots really develop and reach that Osmocote. How about this? No weeding either. Very little surface for the water to evaporate. Very little surface for weed seeds to get in. Happy gardening and make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.